So how can DCF remove children due to a domestic violence allegation in Massachusetts? How can DCF remove children based upon domestic violence in Massachusetts? DCF can remove children from situations in Massachusetts dealing with domestic violence where it's repetitive in nature. DCF's come into the situation, and this is not the first nor the last time, where a partner may have been exposed to children to a domestic violence situation. Well, there might be a situation where the domestic violence is so horrific that it rises the level of substantial risk of harm to these children who certainly deserve the protection of being taken from a home that is tumultuous in nature, where parents have displayed physicality and control and abuse and neglect over one partner and another, where children are traumatized and affected in a major significant way. I was in probate court one time, recently where the mother sat there and told a story about domestic violence, and it was just simply horrific, to the point where the domestic violence had everybody in the courtroom shaking their heads in disbelief. And the effect on these three small children must have been just over the top. And needless to say, the judge called in DCF, and needless to say, a restraining order and a stay away order was issued against the other caretaker, the parent, the intimate partner. And needless to say, there was grave concern by DCF as to who, what, where, when, and how this could have gotten so far out of hand. If you like this video, please share it with someone that you know that's in trouble, has issues, or legal challenges with DCF. Thank you.